William Mark Calloway. The Undertaker has been around since the first ever episode of WWE Raw in 1993. So, his avatar has gone through quite a few changes over the years. There is a story suggesting that Paul Bearer had a traumatic past with The Undertaker. Bearer had an affair with The Undertaker's mother and as a result, had a son, Undertaker's half-brother, named Kane. The Undertaker was under the impression that Kane was actually his brother until Bearer revealed the secret to a raw audience, by accident, that he was actually Kane's father. Bearer informed Jerry, the King, Lawler on Monday Night Raw, at a point in which he thought cameras had stopped rolling. Growing up, Undertaker lived in a funeral home with his family. The Undertaker committed arson slash murder, burning down the family funeral home, in the process, killing his parents and scarring his half-brother's face. Bearer survived the fire and hit Kane in an asylum during the rest of Kane's youth. Meanwhile, Bearer went on to become The Undertaker's manager till SummerSlam single quote 96. In all of his gimmicks, relating to his youth and a funeral home and his disturbed past, the central theme remains the same, the dark side and the undead. The most famous of Vedder is of course the Deadman, going from Kane the Undertaker, where he was supposed to be a zombie or a mortician and he dressed in all grey. He could apparently draw power from Paul Bearer's urn, since it contained the ashes of the Undertaker himself, to the Lord of Darkness, where he began using blue smoke and purple light in the whole entrance that is his trademark even today, then as a ritual performing priest with the Ministry of Darkness. Fans of the erstwhile WWF will remember the feuds with the McMahon family and Stone Cold Steve Austin during this year. And finally the Deadman incarnation we all see him now in. This gimmick is a lot more toned down from his previous ones, undoubtedly for the PG era of WWE. In 2000, a complete polar opposite of the Deadman, Taker ditched the entire Deadman gimmick and switched to a sunglass-wearing, bandana-rocking, stripe and star-waving biker. In Survivor Series 2003, the Big Bad Evil lost a buried alive match to Kane and subsequently returned as the Deadman in single quote 04.